Now, a, a less technical way to read putts is to say, okay, here's my ball. You, you can see it in, see it out, shoot across and get to the fall line, there's a target. You end up with two ideas of the putt, the real putt into the hole and the straight putt that's imaginary putt putt on dead level surface. Here's another way. This is the third way. If I draw a straight line from ball to hole, center of hole, dead straight, I call that a baseline. Then the second line is the fall line. They make a relationship in this particular case of something like this. What I want to do is I want to apply rules so that I can intuitively just aim and fire. The first rule is never let your ball leap low across the fall line, I mean the baseline. Never let the ball leap low across the baseline. That's a mortal sin. The second rule is always put at least as far as this little brick wall of the fall line. Not fast across it and not short of it, but cozy it up right onto that fall line. Maybe two at the lip when you cross it is okay. Like maybe this would be okay. Two at the lip, that's fine. All right, that's the second rule. Always go as far as the fall line. The third rule is aim high up the fall line only something necessary to make sure that it never goes leaky left or leaky low. It's not a specific target, it's just sort of an intuitive plan. That's kind of how Crenshaw left. putted, right? That's right. When you Crenshaw putt that way, it says Warren Roberts. What you end up doing is you end up going high and slow. And that was a little too high. That was good speed for the fall line. It didn't cross this but the aim was too high. Now of the three factors that you want to get meshed together in an intuitive way, never goes low, never goes across the fall line, and is aimed only so high as necessary to make sure that, those, that it never goes low. So let's just try to have some courage about how high is high enough and then quit and then putt to the fall line. Okay, not quite high enough, good speed. A little higher. Quit. Put to the fall line, see what you get. A little too high. Speed wasn't too bad. So as you practice this, it's all about committing to staying high and staying slow and then having guts enough to quit going high when you think you got the job done. These are obviously not high enough, so let me get a little more. Encourage it. Extra high, extra slow. I'm trying to ignore the little quarters over here. Here, go ahead and I'll take them. Yeah, we don't want to have a specific target. We just want to have a sense of fall line and baseline. If I aim dead down the baseline, I would know that that would be bad. If I started cranking my aim high, I would have to have the guts to know when to quit. But it's always put only to the fall line. So that one just wasn't high enough. And if you try this, you'll find that almost everybody is, is chronically way too low for their aim, and way too fast for the putt. Now if I were like miles and miles away, created a baseline and a fall line. That's all I was really worried about was staying above the baseline and stopping at the fall line. This little region right here is a great place to leave your long putts. Not down here because that's leaky low. And not way over here because that's too fast. Right about in here. If you, if you aim too high and you miss it to the high side, you're not going to be penalized because as the ball finishes its run out, it's going to be closing the gap in closer and closer to the hole. So this little area right here, I sometimes refer to that as an elephant's ear. And if 
her long, long legs, I want to try to land it onto the elephant's ear. I want to let it feed down onto the elephant's ear from the high side. Just too much speed, but that was pretty good. And if you think of that fall line as a brick wall, a very definite place not to go across, that helps out a lot. That was better, about the same actually. Yeah, I have to have a sense of stopping right here at this fall line, so I'm creating a brick wall right there. Don't bang off the wall, just cut it up to it. Roll it over there, stop it there, don't go across it. Better. 